Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com and in this video we are going to be making this fun fold corner car card uh, using the prized peony stamp set from the Stampin' Up! annual catalog. So let's get started. The base is cut five and a half by eight. Normally we would cut it five and a half by eight and a half, but this one is a little uh, shorter um, and we're gonna fold that in half at four inches. So I'm just gonna match these corners and give it a good crease. All right, so now we have to do some measuring so that we can score this corner and fold it back. So I'm gonna start over from the fold and make a tick mark with a pencil one half inch from this folded edge. So I'm gonna slide that up so I can make a little tick mark one half inch. And then I'm going to go down from on the right hand side, the open side of the card, and go down three and one half inches. So now what I'm going to do is take my ruler and connect those two tick marks, just like that. But first, open it up, and so you don't score through to the back. Let me line this up again, and then we're just gonna take our bone folder and score that. Then we can erase these tick marks and take this and fold it back, just like that. Now let's add some designer paper, okay? So I'm using the prized peony designer series paper and this piece is cut three and three quarter by five and a quarter and we're going to measure on this piece as well. So on this one, I'm going to go one quarter inch over from this left hand side. So that's one quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to come up from the bottom one and three quarter inches. And this time I'm going to draw a line so that I can cut this corner off. So I'm matching those two tick marks. Draw a line with the straight edge. And then I'm just going to use my paper snips and cut along that line. Now you could also put this in your trimmer. I just choose to do it this way. It's an easy cut especially with our super duper paper snips. All right, so now let's erase these tick marks that we made. And then you're gonna see that this fits just perfectly right on the inside or the outside of the card base. So I'm gonna take some liquid glue and just apply that to the outside there. And that's going to fit just perfectly right there. Okay, so now we need some designer paper to cover this. So what I did is I took a three by three inch square and cut it in half diagonally to fit right there. So let's go ahead and apply that. Liquid glue and then put that down. This designer paper is gorgeous. It's got gray granite, basic gray, whisper white, and petal pink. All right, so now I want to put some designer paper on the inside. So I've cut another piece of that same pattern, three and a half by five. And here, what I like to do is glue this in and line it up where it makes a square with this designer paper here rather than matching this outside edge here. So I'm gonna use liquid glue because it's forgiving and I'll be able to move it around before it completely dries. I'm gonna slip that under there and then come down and over. Let's see, just like that, that works, okay. And so on the inside here, 
what I'm going to do is I have a small piece of Whisper White, one and three quarter by three and a quarter, and this will be to sign my name and my short greeting to this card. I did not make a larger piece because when the card is folded shut, I didn't want any of the message or writing to show right here, okay? Even though we are going to have a little panel here, so to get that, I have a two and a half, no, yes, a two and a half by two and a half piece of petal pink, and then a two and one quarter by two and a quarter piece of Whisper White, and we're going to stamp on this first before we adhere it. So I've got this beautiful peony, and I'm going to use petal pink ink, and I'm just gonna stamp it in the center there. Get a piece of scrap paper in case I go off the edge. Just like that, beautiful image. And then I'm going to take basic gray and the sentiment and stamp right over that peony. It says, my thoughts are with you. Basic gray ink, and I'm just gonna stamp it over top, just like that. Now, I am going to get some of these beautiful, coordinating, elegant, faceted gems. These are beautiful. They're uh, the colors that go with this designer paper and they're faceted. Just love it. So I'm gonna get my take your pick tool and I'm gonna use these petal pink faceted ones. So I'm gonna get this there and then a small one here and then another small one down here. All right. Now let's go ahead and adhere it to the petal pink square. And then we're going to attach this panel to this corner fold, but we want to be sure and just put glue in this area here so it doesn't glue to that inside of the card. And it lines up, and then you have that square backing it, and you have a nice, fun, fancy fold to send to someone. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com where you can find all the details and the links to shop to make this great project. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.